evening in this lecture i am going to discuss about lidar platforms what is a platform platform is a physical entity on which the lidar instrument is placed now you can place the lidar instrument on a tripod you can place or you can fix the lidar instrument on an aeroplane or you can fix the lidar equipment on a spacecraft all right so if you fix the lidar instrument on a tripod it is called terrestrial platform if you fix the lidar instrument on an aeroplane it is called airborne platform and if you fix the lidar instrument on a spacecraft it will be known as a space borne platform now let us dissect what terrestrial platforms are like okay now i said that on a terrestrial platform you are going to fix it on a tripod not necessarily true okay that was for example but you can not only fix it on a tripod you can fix it on a vehicle so the vehicle can move about you can fix it on a tripod so that everything is stationary and of course when you are uh, talking about an aeroplane the aeroplane uh, is going to fly in the air and the lidar instrument is going to scan the terrain which is under the aeroplane of course not above the aeroplane the lidar equipment can also scan surfaces when it is mounted in a spacecraft okay so what is of most important is the modes of scanning okay so when you place the lidar instrument on a tripod so the instrument is fixed and everything around it assuming that there are no moving cars and moving people and i'm not really interested in scanning ships suppose in a case where i am not interested in, uh, in scanning ships so this is a stationary scanner with stationary objects all right now suppose that i am trying to scan a ship which is you know anchored to a dock the ship is you know is going to move because of the movement of the water and this is a case where there is a stationary scanner trying to scan a moving object right next when you mount the lidar equipment on an aeroplane it is the scanner which is moving and then the ground which is down there is fixed okay in a spacecraft also it's the same thing fine now a lidar equipment requires an initial coordinate suppose for example i am using a stationary scanner ground station i have put my scanner on the tripod stand the lidar equipment will need its bearing or uh, other in simpler language called the horizontal angle than the vertical angle and of course it will need its bearing direction or the north direction okay and of course in addition it will need what is its own coordinate these things are required for the laser scanner to determine the other coordinates or the coordinates of the object which the laser scanner is hitting right now the same thing the same logic applies when we are trying to scan the earth or the terrain using aeroplane so the aeroplane obtains its coordinates from the gps now here is the trouble with the aeroplane the aeroplane can do a lot of maneuvering in the air okay so let us suppose that the aeroplane is flying in this direction okay so let us let this be the x axis the aeroplane is going to fly in this direction the aeroplane can do this kind of maneuver okay while scanning this maneuvering is there it is also possible that the aeroplane is going to do maneuvering like this 
and it is also possibly that the aeroplane is going to move over like this okay so this is rotation about the x axis so this is the x axis this is rotation about the y axis and this is rotation about about the z axis so basically there are three kinds of rotation rotation about the x axis is called roll this is called roll roll okay this is called pitch and this is called the yaw okay the same roll pitch and yaw or the roll pitch and swing are also applicable to platforms like aerial photography fine now here is the problem at every second i i said this in another lecture and i'm going to repeat it at every second the laser instrument is going to fire 50000 pulses of laser and therefore it is going to procure 50000 at least 50000 pulses of laser 50000 data points are being collected every time so what happens now you know your initial coordinates from the GPS. Now the GPS has got what is a, a particular frequency of collecting the data. Okay, so that particular frequency of collecting the data is known as an epoch. Okay, now that epoch may it depends upon the instrument. Of course, the setting of the instrument it might be one tenth of a second, it might be half of a second, it might be one second, and all that. But even if it is one tenth of a second or even if it is one second in one second the plane is traveling at a very very high speed while it is collecting at the data so how come do i know the coordinates of the plane between the second so this is second number one this is second number one while it is scanning and during this one second it is going to cover a certain amount of distance and in this amount of time it is also going to fire laser beams so I must know at every instant of the second okay between second one and second two this at every instant I must know the coordinates how do I know that okay so there is a particular mathematical transformation which we call as the Kalman filter in which with which the Kalman filter uh, will help the plane procure its coordinates between the epochs. Okay, so this is epoch 1 and this is epoch 2. And between these epochs, the Kalman filter will help the plane procure its own coordinates. Okay, so these are this was a brief explanation of the LIDAR platforms.